though, as we're not really sure about that. It's tough to get over aggressive there. We may be seeing some counterattacks here because you can see now Fnatic, they were kind of going in. They go land to taunt. There is the taunt going down. Yume going very, very low. Flash in there. First blood comes down. It's Soaz that picks it up there on Shen. Dr is level two right now, but can he escape without burning that flash off? There's the jump in. Knock up, not quite landing. Kaigo gets away, but there is TG oh. down in the bottom lane. Actually a little early for that gank from Cyanide. I feel like they could have waited for Peke to hit level six, which he's actually done right now. And he's just going in by yeah, himself. going straight in onto that one. And with the ignite down, an easy down to the bottom lane here, but they need to make sure that they get vision control. TG gonna actually miss here. They are gonna go on towards him. Can they finish him off? Only one more auto attack from Butcher will do it. Kill Ooh. does come back there though for EXO. That know that the minion farm isn't the only important thing. It's about being able to push up the enemy turret and being the team that has the freedom to make moves. Okay, going in here on towards Yume. Will they go further? Yes, they will. Knockup comes down. Yume going to be bursted. There is Kaigo kicking Peke behind the turret, but that's probably going to make it harder for him now to escape this one. He is oh, going nice. to go over on towards the red buff. Just spotting the back end there of Kaigo. Will he be able to follow through? No, off to a ward. But on Mineski, knowing Mineski can't really fight back right now. See. All out of turrets now down. There goes the ultimate out. There is a shockwave coming back in, but do you escape this one? Not on your life. That's a double kill down for Pushu and an inner turret. Meanwhile, Mineski pushing the up. They're going to take down the first inhibitor of the game. Fnatic was not happy about that. Had a decent start. So that's on Fnatic actually not leaving. They're going to come around the corner from this one. Good strangle thorns coming down. Yellow star falling low. But Fnatic dive right back in there, picking themselves up a couple more kills. Exo's not going to be able to escape. I'd be surprised if Yume makes it. Ace in the hole will finish off. The and that will be an ace coming down from Fnatic. 16 minutes. Really Fnatic, do they're going to take it down. The Nexus. Is going to fall here. Fnatic get it down to half. Mineski coming off the spawn. They're going to try and hold on to this one for a final time. It looks like they're doing a good they're job of it as away. well. Pushu falls down and Fnatic back off. Be a good word for it right now because Fnatic is so far up in experience in gold. Pushu though goes down. This might slow down Fnatic. They might just want to try. Someone comes in. Here comes the rest of the team though. And so is having to back away from this. Peke. Full HP off to the bottom side, realizes he can't probably take four of them down. Oh, or can he? Well, he maybe can. <laughs> Go straight back in there. Is he going to try and backdoor and be the hero once again from this one? Drags all three in, flashes away, avoids the knockup. Aatrox still off to the side, will knock up Yume. He actually goes down. Finally, they've killed off Xpeke. Infinity Edge Seal is what. Uh, Pushu currently has on board at 734 as well. Fnatic needs to have the willingness to peel off and get a fight. Well, let's see what Mineski can put together from this one. Yellow Star actually flashing over. Solar Flare goes down, but onto Corky, who's simply second turret of the game here. They want to get something back, but here's the shut off onto the Aatrox. You're in trouble, Vanessa. You're in trouble. Knock straight up in the air. There are the strangle thorns. They won't knock anyone down. Now Kaigu gonna be the target from this one. Can they get on onto him before he escapes? Ace in the hole comes flying through, but he's still alive. Those wolves gonna be a friendly target for him. But has he got what it takes to get oh! over? No! It's failed his flash on that one. That means two men down. They're gonna go straight for this one. Soa's actually tanking things up. Peke dives in on towards Exo. There is Cataclysm down by Jarvan, but he's squishy enough at this point with this lead for Fnatic to just be taken out. But look at Yume and Exo. They're still managing to hold them off. Side here, but there's a ward down. That means Fnatic has to continue to back away. He's gonna need well, someone to go in there. He's, he's not gonna give up on this one though. Fnatic. Are they going to keep going, Baron? Are they going to come off uh -oh. it? They're actually Peke. coming off it from this one. Peke is waiting in the brush. There's the one kill. Snoy goes down. That's two for nothing to the face for Soaz. But can they hold off here on this Nexus? Already down to half for the third or fourth time in this game so far. But Fnatic decides to go 